feel like there's like a five stages of everything. So why not model railroading? <laughs> Hey everybody, my name is Jimmy. Welcome to Coffee and Trains. Today I'm drinking some of that Kauai coffee. It's really, really good. If you want to tell me what kind of coffee you are drinking, you can leave that in the comments below and maybe get featured just like these guys right here. So, cheers guys. Now, I will fully admit that this is just a bit of lighthearted fun in regards to our hobby, but what would the five stages of model railroading be? <laughs> Okay, you've seen a model train setup. It may have been a display or a holiday setup, but you thought to yourself, hmm, where do I get one of those? You have just entered the interest phase of model railroading. Congrats, welcome to the world's greatest hobby. Go ahead and save that credit card information on a model train website because you're about to get hooked on trains. This phase is typically where people buy starter sets and really just begin exploring simple setups. They haven't figured out what they like, and they're trying things like DC versus DCC and learning brands. The interest phase typically doesn't last long though because you quickly begin falling down that rabbit hole into the next phase. Okay, you've gotten started and all you want is more. More engines, more track, more rolling stock. You're quickly spiraling your way into the buy, buy, buy phase. You're all over eBay looking for deals. You're raiding the clearance section of every hobby shop and model railroad website, looking to build up your fleet and the track it runs on. New, used, consignment, swap meets, it doesn't matter. You want more and more and more. You don't care about road names, eras, or anything prototypical. It's just more trains. GE-9 pulling some USRA boxcars? Sure. Steam engine pulling Amtrak superliners? Why not? You are having fun and that's what's important. But this can lead us into the next phase. So your train space now looks like you just robbed a hobby shop. There are boxes and boxes of trains everywhere. You've got dozens of engines and hundreds of cars in your collection. You may have gotten so excited about the trains themselves that you may have not built a layout and they're still running trains on a loop of track on a board or table. This is the overkill phase. You've gone so hard at buying all sorts of things that you literally do not know where to go from here. Do I build a layout or do I keep collecting and just run what I feel like? One thing's for sure, you have to make a decision about what to do with your trains, or your train space will be overflowing and you can't do anything. This is where you begin consulting expert guides and publications, and then heading into the next phase. You have begun to figure out what exactly you like about this hobby, and it's time to really pursue that. This is the pivot phase. This is where the model railroader typically will go in one of three directions if they want to continue in the hobby. Becoming a collector, freelance, build and run what I like, and the rabbit hole. Collecting can vary between scales. O scale definitely leans more towards collecting as it's one of the oldest scales and equipment from the beginning can still run today on modern track. You can obviously collect in all scales though. Build and run what I like is where I see most model railroaders. They want a layout that they can run whatever they want on it, but it looks good. Think of the layouts that are very pretty, but are not specific in terms of a specific railroad or era that they are modeling. Then there's the rabbit hole. The rabbit hole can be anything. It can be diving into modeling a railroad in a specific era. It can be making your layout a masterpiece of automated features or a beautifully made 3D piece of art with incredibly detailed and accurate scenery. The hallmark of the rabbit hole is that you have found what you like and you really focus on that aspect of the hobby, which leads us into our next phase. Okay, you've been through all the phases, and you've explored, overindulged, and you may have even dove down a rabbit hole or two or three or ten. But now you're in a wonderful spot that I call the happy place phase. The happy place phase is where you have figured out what you like, what you don't, and what you're comfortable in pursuing exactly so that you can know what you want to get out of this hobby. 
You may have compared your setup to others out of magazines or on the internet in the past, but now you're perfectly happy with what you have and working on the direction of your choosing. It's a great place to be, and it will be different for everyone. You may even step back into the pivot phase and readjust to find a new happy place once you discover new things or are inspired. The happy place is the best phase of model railroading because it means you're getting the most enjoyment you can out of it. So these are my five phases of model railroading. What do you think of my list? Is there any phase that I may have missed? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, I'm Jimmy from the DIY and Digital. Stay safe, be kind, drink some coffee, and happy railroading. <music>